What are you buying? I'm buying health, bruh. Oh, you bastard. You know what? It sucks because I have a full healing item, the red and green herb combined. He won't he only is was gonna sell me that one health. So yeah. Unless you can find more health, the health that you get from him is very limited. And <laughs> I practically only have enough health since the beginning of the game. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Lay down. Hopefully the explosion will kill them. There it is. Yes, see? Called it. It's not like I get experience or anything. Either we're... Whether I kill them or somebody else does, it doesn't give a shit to me as long as they die, you know? Now, as for the drops that they get, I am not sure. Alright, so two of them are down, and I still have one more asshole. Him. Hopefully it's a face shot. Yes! I win. Alright, the item, the music has finished. And, ooh, items. So, I think that's actually all the items we can grab here. Remember that all that fucking piece of the castle we walked around? Well, it's there's nothing around, so I don't I don't get this game sometimes. You can't see the village. You know, there was a moat. Is the uh, I guess the layout is kind of weird, but you know, you can't be too, you know, picky with it, I suppose, considering how old this game is. But, when we get in here, um, you can act, there are actually some things you got, you, you don't have to do it, like, it'll tell you once you get up there, but, to save time, there are bricks that you have to destroy, so these gears can move, because you're gonna have to activate this thing. So, as you see here, there's a brick. Or fucking block. Here. And there's another one there. You can actually see them all, actually. And right there. See? All three. And they're assholes, because they'll actually leave a note telling, like, explaining that this will impede his progress because they, I guess because I'm an American, like the character's an American, he's a fucking moron, I suppose. I don't know. However, you know, because we played this game enough, we've outsmarted their fucking ploys to try to screw us over. So, fuck them. I, I, I admit, you don't see it, but when he's climbing, you actually see the bricks. But I, because I destroyed them, you don't see them anymore. But yeah, when you climb down, up and down the ladder, it will show where they are. Ritual preparation, you know, the, the yep, see, the Novista doors. Those are what those fucking insects are called. And, you know, we should be able to hold off our friend for at least a little while by jamming the gears from the clock tower with something. So yeah. We've already we were already prepped for you, bruh, so fuck you. Activate this. Gears start to move in and shit's gonna pop off. I like how shit rendered very differently like how the <laughs> how it all looked and shit when it went outside. <laughs> You also probably heard that door open, but yeah, so the enemies are actually coming inside now, and they've come to murder me. Oh, sh shit, see? I need to be careful because my health is low. And if I am not careful, they will actually shoot me dead. They'll come from any fucking position, so you gotta be careful. Please be careful, these guys actually get very accurate from... In, like in this area. 
Not as accurate as you. Oh my god. See what I mean? I don't even know where the other dude is. And he just shot me through a fucking wall. Through the gears. I don't even think I have enough health anymore. Shit. Um, I'm scared now. I am very nervous because... The next upcoming part gets very hectic. Not the part coming up next after we leave this area, but the area after, actually. Alright. Now, quick note, when you jump down, they show up from the front, from down there, and they magically appear from above. So, just turn around and come up this way and meet this asshole. He's gonna try to, he's actually gonna hit me, isn't he? Nope. Fuck him. He actually killed him for us. Awesome. Thanks, dickhead. All the fleshy bits. If you want to save ammo, just knife his ass. Just save ammo. Try to do it. Um, Alright. I think there's one more down there. I don't know where he is, though. So we're pretty much good on this part. Oh, shit. Oh, he's fucking up there now. Dick. Let's save ammo, you know, just never hesitate to go back to old practical ways of combat, you know, because that'll save you some, that saves you ammo and, you know, because you never know when you're going to need it. Because if it wasn't for me telling you now that you're going to need ammo and health, you know, I'm telling you now, you're going to need it. And if I don't, and if you weren't watching this, you'd actually be pretty screwed if you just went around just shooting shit just because you had the ammo, quote unquote. You never can have, you can never have enough. So let's reload. We're gonna need to. Next part can get pretty funky, crazy, sort of. As you'll see when I walk through this damn door, bam. Three assholes with fucking shields. You think it's bad now, but... Because I had that fucking thing, but... Thankfully, they give you a fucking typewriter here, but... You don't need it. But if you try to fucking run past them and go through the door, this shit happens. Dudes just jump down. Bam. And... More guys just magically appear. They show up from behind you and see fucking horse face. Bang. He had an RPG. And dude's about to fucking whack me so bad right now. This shit's gonna suck. Um, I'm gonna take this hit. So, I have flash. Bang. I need to get the fuck out of here. I'm about to die with no health. Shit. No. You should have been flashed, you cocksucking bitch. I'm about to die, aren't I? I am going to die here. This part can get pretty bad. Like I said, it gets hectic if you're not careful. How are you near me? No! Shit! I told you. I warned you guys. It was shit was gonna get hectic. Um. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. You know, you would think that oh, it's not too bad. I can fucking face these assholes off no problem. But God, can you be for so ever wrong? So, fuck you. That's what we needed right there. Just knock his ass down and lash. You could just run through, but... And they just keep fucking showing up for some reason. Weird. Cock his face off.
that fucking thing is gonna fucking jump out of his face. Oh, uh, shit. We're getting a lot of ammo, though. I won't complain there. Alright, so, cleared them, air, them enemies out. Got us some breathing room. Now we can actually fucking pick these assholes off one by one. And he's got to fucking lost plug us. Nope. Fuck you and your bullshit acid shit. Nope, 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 nope. I kick him? Yeah. Fuck yeah, I'll kick his ass. And he didn't do that weird ass jump. Nope, you're not fucking jumping on my face. They'll actually jump onto your face, and if you're not careful, they. It's like they'll crush it. I think that's what they do. I've, it's only ever happened to me once, so I'm not sure what specifically happens. And I probably lost a bunch of those fucking items that they dropped. I can't remember if they dropped any more than what they did already that I grabbed or running over here. So, I guess that's it here. Um, uh, I am not looking forward to this next area with no health. I've got that one thing of, you know, healing, but... Ugh. This is what it'll feel like fighting. You'll, you'll see.